How to fulfill orders on Shopify CG Dropshipping 2023 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about Shopify and CG Dropshipping and how you can use both of these softwares together to basically set yourself up some good ordering and shipping and how you can actually fulfill and complete orders using both of these so it's gonna be a really easy and fun video so please watch till the end to listen to all the information I have to properly give you because if you do all that properly then I guarantee you that fully till the end you are actually gonna learn everything that there is to learn about this topic okay so without further ado let's get straight into it now to start yourself off obviously we're gonna want to make sure that we have a proper Shopify set it up account okay and I assume before starting this video that you have a proper account okay so once you have a proper account obviously we're gonna go ahead and log into it okay now once you're logging in do know this that um obviously if you have orders that you want to fulfill you probably or most most definitely do have an online store because that is something that you get orders on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to your online store and um once you're in an online store obviously you're gonna make sure that the orders you've gotten they are actually in stock they're available and um obviously you're gonna want to make sure to uh, correlate them with your supplier okay you're gonna make sure to ask your supplier if the products are actually available and after all the verifying obviously we're gonna do the more in-depth stuff which i'm gonna be showing you further on in the video so obviously as you know this is your basic shopify dashboard and for your orders to actually see where orders you've gotten you're gonna come here and over here obviously is gonna be the orders that have been ordered from you so obviously to work with those orders or to actually you know mess around with them obviously you can directly do it from here you can click on those orders and uh, you know mess around with them straight from here or what you can do is you can use CJ drop shipping so first of all to you know get into CJ drop shipping we're gonna you can just come up here into the shop by app store okay you're gonna go into the you're gonna go into add apps you're gonna go in shop by app store okay and once you go into the shop by app store obviously uh, from here is where you're gonna get your CD drop shipping okay and it's not necessary that you have to connect it from here like there's two ways either you can integrate it from here which is easier because obviously you're doing it from inside of uh, your Shopify so it's directly gonna connect so but obviously you can do it from their website as well what I'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna do it separately from their website okay so i'm gonna come here and write to dropshipping.com this will obviously take me to their main dropshipping website okay now once i'm in their website obviously over here what i'm gonna be doing is uh, you're going to make sure to have a proper registered account for CD dropshipping. I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you're going to do so. So you're going to go and register. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using a temp mail for myself to sign myself up with CJ dropshipping and everything. But uh, obviously, you don't necessarily need to do this. You can use the same email that you've used for your Shopify, or you can also use any other vacant, you know, Gmail or Hotmail email that you have. So we're gonna come here okay I'm gonna paste that and then we're gonna set up a good strong password for ourselves okay there we go I'm gonna set another password here we go and once you do that you're gonna click on next and everything and here it's gonna ask you your username just set any good username that you can then put in your name your phone number and then just click on confirm now once you do that obviously it's going to say registered successfully so which platform are you running your store on right now i'm going to go with obviously shopify and everything now you can you, like you don't necessarily need to complete the survey you can just skip it okay and obviously that's what i'm going to do because i like the survey doesn't really do a lot for you so once we're done with that and we're into cj drop shipping obviously what we're going to do is we're going to link our stores okay so to link our stores what you're going to want to do is you're going to go up here on my cj and once you come up here on my cj obviously we're just going to wait for it to load us up and once everything is loaded up then we're going to discuss more in depth about this so once you're over here you're going to come down here where it says store authorization you're going to click on that you're going to choose your store which is obviously shopify and once you've chosen your Shopify store, you're going to click on add store. And here it says, you know, you're going to do all these steps to authorize. So we're going to click on authorize and it's going to bring you here. And now you're going to click on add app that you opened here on your, you know, Shopify. 
And obviously it's going to bring you to your main Shopify page where it's going to ask you to install app and verify yourself. So you're just going to do so. And uh, you're just going to make sure to do it properly and authorize everything, you know, like fully verify yourself. And this is obviously pretty necessary because um, in order to, you know, uh, actually fulfill orders, you're going to need to be properly verified. So as you can see, the authorization was successful and you are straight into the drop shipping business. Now, obviously to fulfill orders, we're going to have to import the product. So let's say there's intelligent LED lamp Bluetooth speaker that you want to import to your store. So to import this, obviously we're going to first of all, click on the product. You're going to open it. So let's just wait for it to load up. Now, once it loads up, here we go. So it's $15 and it's loaded up you know electrical outlet etc etc you're gonna see all those things and if you like what you see you're gonna click on connect okay now once you click on connect obviously it's gonna take you to my cj and on my cj it's gonna give you the options to actually you know import it and connect it with your store and once you connect it obviously here you can see it uh, you know gives you the option for the connections then you have to pin the product that we want to connect so you can sync them together if you want to and you can connect it with any existing product that is already in your store okay or you can just do the easy thing go on list okay and once you do list you're just uh, gonna make sure to add a proper vendor for yourself so uh, add a product type once you've added a product type then we're gonna go ahead and add a vendor so add new just choose any random vendor to be honest doesn't matter and once you do that choose the recommended listing pricings if they're good enough for you choose the shipment that you're going to choose obviously right now it's china warehouse and then you're going to do unlisted now and what this will do is it will obviously send products to your store and it's going to start the you know order and processing uh fulfilling your products okay now obviously the listing might take a few seconds because there are tons and tons of you know variants of these products so while it loads to basically fulfill the products as i said you can either do it from here but from here it's a bit complicated so you're going to come on my cj and you're going to go in orders and obviously these are going to be the imported orders that uh, like these ones so as you can see these are listed successfully so you're going to go over to products and obviously over here as you can see this is listed over here so if someone orders this off your page it's going to come here where it's going to say orders the same is going to happen over here you're going to you know choose the product that has been you know ordered and you're going to click on sync store orders to do so and you're going to come down in orders fulfillment to fulfill it and you're going to let the you know shipment company or the shipment supplier know that hey the order has like they just ordered it and i want you to you know do your thing so yeah that's basically about it now if you enjoyed watching this video drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this let me know down in the comments below and i will make more for you but yeah that's about it thank you for watching and i'll see all of you next time goodbye